Hi everyone, my name is Mama Hearts Makeup and welcome to my channel. I'm just going to jump right into this makeup tutorial. I feel like I'm kind of rambling a little bit in my intro, so I'm just going to jump right in. As you can tell by the title of this video, this is a no liner look, which is extremely rare for me. I am a liner girl. I always have been. Like, I would always wear eyeliner, eyeliner and mascara. Sometimes that's the only thing I would wear is eyeliner, mascara, and gloss. For me to do a whole makeup look with absolutely no eyeliner, let me specify because I do put liner in like the lower lash line for this and I did tight line, which I don't think I explained in the tutorial, but I'm telling you now. I, I tight lined it and I put a little bit here just so that the lash line would connect to the rest of the eye, but like there's no wing, there's no liner um, on the lash line. That's what I'm trying to say and I said I wasn't going to ramble and I did anyway, so yeah. There's that. Maybe next time. <laughs> okay guys, let's jump on into the tutorial. Just using some regular concealer. Regular concealer? I don't know what's irregular concealer. Just taking translucent powder here. Tapping that on. Now I'm using the old school Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette for this, but you can use whatever palette you have. For the transition shade I'm using this color right here, but I'm going right into and above the crease. Oh my god, I think I just touched one of the pans that has my claw marks in it. Damn it. Look what I did. <laughs> did some claw marks. Oh, you really blow out that transition shade area there. I'm gonna do the brow bone highlight. I'm just using my favorite tempera. tempera. It's in the Modern Renaissance palette, it's in the Soft Glam palette, but it's a Anastasia Beverly Hills shade. I'm gonna go into this shade here, just right at the arch of the brow. Right in there. So it kind of stands out a little bit. And I'm going in with this color here. Just really push it to feel the crease and then slow wipe back and forth. To deposit that color and then adding a little bit more to blow that out a little bit. Just keep adding, putting some in the outer V, creating that shape a little bit, going up a little high on the end of the eye here as you can see, and just really carving out that crease a little bit. Now going back with that first brush that we used for the transition shade, no additional color, I'm just blending those two together. And I'm going in with that same concealer and a nice flat brush here. Just painting that on the lid. I'm going just a tad bit higher than my natural crease. Now just taking this flat E32 brush by Morphe with the shade here that I messed up earlier. <laughs> on one side of the brush, packing that on a bit and going over the outer V with that color. I'm going in just a little bit, not too much, maybe a quarter, a third of the way in on the lid. And then just flipping it to the other side. And that same brush, because I'm lazy like that. Going in with this color here, this nice pinky color. Loading up the brush and tapping it on to that concealer. You don't really want to rub, because it'll make it messy for one, and it won't be as pigmented as you want. Keep tapping, going over that entire area that you laid concealer down. Now going back in with that same brush that you used for the crease color and a little bit more of that crease color shade. And just going over just a little bit on the edge there to clean it up. Then back in with that other brush, first brush for the transition shade, and blend. So yeah, that's nicely blended there. Now on the lower lash line, I'm going in with my favorite kind of burgundy eyeliner by ColourPop. And I'm going in the waterline, then a little bit lower onto the lash line. The color is Best O, if anyone is interested. And using, again, that same brush that we use for the crease shade, going into the crease shade again and just smoking it out. I'm not worried about being too precise at this point because we haven't put 
any of the foundation or concealer or anything yet and we'll clean that up later. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my mascara and then curl the lashes, put on falsies, and then I will be back and do uh, the rest of the face. I'm probably going to do my eyebrows too because my eyebrows take forever as you well know. Okay, <laughs> I'll be back in just a sec. Here are both eyes done with the eyebrows as well. I've been doing the no liner thing for like a week and it's only because I've had to go into work a lot earlier than I normally do. For this last week of school, I'm on summer vacation. Yes, God. But yeah, I was I had to get rid of something in my routine so I would make it to work on time. And I wasn't about to get rid of the lashes, so I got rid of the liner and I am not hating. I'm just adding a little maracuja oil underneath my eyes here. This is what I do with part of my routine, but my skin is a little bit older than most of yours, so that's why I did that. Because I put down the uh, Tarte Shape Tape over that and it can be a little bit drying. So to avoid that, I put the beauty oil on underneath. You can use whatever beauty oil you want or even like an eye serum or an eye cream if you suffer the same thing as I do sometimes with the Tarte Shape. Yeah, so I got rid of the liner in my makeup routine and I'm not mad at it. I'm better at putting on lashes now before. There's no way I would have been able to like actually save time by just doing lashes because lashes used to take me forever but now I'm much better. I'm gonna use my Milani 2-in-1 uh, foundation. It's sand beige. My skin is a little bit darker. I did get a little bit of sun. I'm gonna spritz a little bit of my Tatcha Luminous uh, Dewy Skin Mist onto the brush. Not my skin because then it becomes a little too dewy. Smells so good. I used to use the MAC Fix Plus for this a lot, but since I want kind of a little bit more of a glowy look, I'm using the Tasha Mist. Tasha? Tasha? Tasha. And as you can see, I didn't use any primer, which is also like a crazy thing I never thought I'd do. But my skin tone and my texture has never been better. I can't remember the last time I didn't have any texture here on my cheeks. And that is due to the fact that I've added some very important things to my skincare regimen. And I will be doing a video, an in-depth video, 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 an in-depth video, an in-depth video <laughs> about that whole thing very soon. Now, I'm still on the Fit Me Stick as Contour. I love this one because it has like a shine-free balance. Like the, there's like this, oh, I don't know if you could see it. There's a little spot in the middle there that's supposed to control shine. So when I blend this in, which it blends in quite nicely, I must say. Gotta be careful on the nose. Oh, it's a little wonky there, but oh well. Yeah, so when I blend this in, I don't have to set it necessarily if I don't have time because it dries to a nice powdery finish and I love that. It looks a lot more harsh on the camera than it does in real life, I swear. It looks like I have racing stripes on my face, but I don't, I promise. It's just the lighting in the camera, you know? I'm gonna go in with a butter bronzer, not to set the contour, but to just to bronze up the face. Duh. Oh, butter bronzer, hello. You can see I also did my hair while I was off camera. Save time again. So I have these clippy things here that I just noticed I have in my hair still. If you've been around a while, you'll probably remember my hair being a lot lighter than it is, um, or that it has been recently, but yeah. I decided to go back. Now that my hair is finally starting to grow, well, I put bleach in it really, but I started doing the blondie thing before Olaplex was, you know, widely used. Through no fault of her own, I'm sure, the girl that was doing my hair just, it just totally started off like burning, breaking off. I mean, it was breaking off like at the crown. It, it was, it was just bad. And every time I had my hair done, it had to go shorter and shorter to get rid of the ends that were just literally just falling off. And I hadn't colored my hair in years. I just left it the way it was, but I'm getting a lot, a lot more white hair 
So I figured I'll add the blonde so it kind of blends in a bit better. I'm just taking a little bit of concealer here as you can see and just highlighting the center of the nose just to make it look a little more snatched. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna put a little bit here too. Even though I put powder down already. <laughs> Don't do that. But this powder, the Wet n Wild, the light powder in the contour kit is so creamy that I really don't have an issue with putting the powder and then putting this on top of it. It still blends in very nicely as you can see. I'm gonna go in with this Morphe blush palette. I haven't used it in a minute. It's the 9N and I think I'm going to go in with this color here. It's kind of like a corally color. Tap off excess. Do a little smiley smile. And I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills the Amreezy highlight. My favorite highlight of life. And go over tops of the cheekbones there. Woo! I always have a moment every time I use this highlight. I'm not even gonna lie. It's a moment to myself, but I don't care. It's just like, oh. It's like the icing on the cake, you know what I mean? I mean, look at the difference. This is like, bam, and this is like, hmm, eh. <laughs> At least in my opinion. And now taking my favorite little, it's just this flat little teeny brush. I don't know what it's called. I don't remember where I got it, but it's like perfect to do a little boopity boop on the tip of the nose there, which I didn't used to do. I think I used to make fun of people that used to do this and now I do it all the time I, I don't know I don't know what makeup it it, it e keeps evolving and I use that same brush and I'm gonna go in the inner corners here I'm gonna go in with this super stay matte ink by Maybelline in the color number five loyalist this is very matte it doesn't go on too matte, but it definitely dries down. Why does the screen look like that? Still okay, guys, I just realized that the end of that video ended up being super blurry. So I just put on the lip gloss in Enamors by Marc Jacobs. I think it says 304. And I put that over the top of the matte color there. I, I can't believe I did that. Um, I tapped the screen because the screen looked a little bit like dark to me on this side and then I ended up making it blurry and I didn't realize because it's a little bit far from me and I wear contacts so my vision is not that great. So anyway, yeah. So I'm just refilming the end um, here. <laughs> I hope uh, you don't mind. Thank you so much for visiting me today. I appreciate it so much and I'll see you again next time. Bye.